was able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able, come on, oh, 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 oh. he's able, he's able, oh, God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill, he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, oh, oh. Join Pastor Sean Pinner in Freeport, Bahamas for healing and miracle breakthrough service at the BUT Hall on October 21st at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. And we know that all things in a work together for good. Come and experience anointed worship, powerful preaching, and witness the power of God in action as the sick are healed, souls are saved, and lives are transformed. See you there. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we continue this series this morning, never give up. Minister to your people on this morning. Let them see from the word of God that when one door closes, God opens another door. God, if there is one message they need to get this morning, it's when one door closes, God opens another door. Minister to your people this morning. Encourage them. Strengthen them. Let them feel the peace of God. Let them feel the faith of God. Let them feel your presence. Let them walk away with confidence and that assurance that you have it all in control pertaining to their life and their future, their family, their marriage, their health, their finances, their business, their job, their career, God, their, their education. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Somebody say amen. We are continuing our series, Never Give Up. On this morning, we are talking about when a door closes, <laughs> God opens another one. When one door closes, he opens another one. This brings us now to Genesis 39, chapter 39 again, verse 7 through 23. And it came to pass after these things. Now, Joseph, he has favor. Joseph has favor with Potiphar. Potiphar's and trusting everything into Joseph's hand. The Lord is blessing Potiphar's house because of Joseph. And you know when everything's going good, the devil's going to show up. Verse 7 says, And it came to pass after these things that his master's wife cast her eyes upon Joseph, and she said, Lie with me. This one was rotten. If there was a Jezebel from hell, this is one right here. Describes her right to the T. But he refused. See, he had integrity. Thank God for a man who can say no. But he refused and said unto his master's wife, Behold, my master doesn't know what is with me in the house, and he has committed all that he has into my hand. There is none greater in this house than I, neither has he kept back anything from me but you, because, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness? and sin against God. And it came to pass, as she spoke to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her to lie by her or to be with her. Listen, I'm talking to somebody. Hold your integrity. Say no. Even if they got to lie on you and scandalize your name, let it be a lie that they told. Because I am telling you, God will expose and allow the truth to come out, and you will be proven that you were innocent. Are you listening to me? Tell the devil no. Tell him your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. You refuse to defile yourself. The Bible says, coming 
out from among them. And be ye separate, says the Lord, and I'll receive you as my sons and daughters. Watch this. And it came to pass about this time that Joseph went into the house to do his business, and there was none of the men of the house there with him. Sounds like this woman planned this, didn't it? Sounds like she made sure find something for every one of those men to do to make sure no one would be in that house when Joseph come. And he probably is under the impression he's not there with this woman by himself. But she had everybody cleared out of there. This devil's a liar. I'm telling you, the Bible says he who dig a trap will fall into it. He who rolls a stone on someone else, it will return on him. Lord have mercy. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him up. Run if you got to run. Jump out through a window if you got it, if you got to jump out through a window. But hold to your integrity. God is your defender. If you are innocent, God will prove to the world that you are innocent. Come on, somebody. Are you listening to me? My God, my God, Lord, help us, Jesus. And it came to pass when she saw that he had left his garment in her hand and was fled forth, that she called unto the men of, of her house and spoke unto them, saying, See, he has brought in a Hebrew unto us to mock us. He came in unto me to lie with me, and I cried with a loud voice, You lying devil, you, you Jezebel, belch and vomited straight from out of hell, you lying wonder. Lord, I'm sorry, I I'm, I'm guess I'm going off on it. Yeah, let me finish, let me finish my rant. You lying wonder, you good for nothing something. Come on, somebody, you're rotten to the core. Help me, Jesus, you, you're worse than a rotten egg. Ah, but God's going to fix your business in due season. Yeah, let them lie all they want, but I'm telling you, the Holy Ghost got your back. And it came to pass, when he heard that, I lifted up my voice and cried that he left his garment with me and fled and got him on. Man, she is a liar if there was ever one. And she laid up his garment by her until his Lord came home. And she spoke unto him according to these words, saying, The Hebrew servant which you brought unto us came in unto me to mock me. And it came to pass, as I lifted up my voice and cried, that he left his garment and fled out. And it came to pass when his master heard the words of his wife, which she spoke unto him, saying, After this manner did thy servant to me, that his wrath was kindled. And Joseph's master took him and put him into prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in prison. Somebody open your mouth and say, When one door closes, God's going to open another one. When one door closes, God opens another one. Here it is. Here, watch God intercepts this. But, he was thrown into prison. But, verse 21 says, but the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. Lord, help me, Jesus. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison and whatsoever they did there he was the doer of it the keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand because the Lord was with Joseph and that which Joseph did the Lord made it prosper. You can't even keep him down in prison. Throw him in prison, he rise to the top. Sell him into Egypt, he rise to the top. Come on, somebody. God is on your side. Even in a bad situation, God's going to get the glory out of it. Just let's give him glory this morning. My God, I feel the anointing here. Give him glory. Give him glory. Come on. Give him glory. Give him glory. Sing it with me. God's going to get the glory out of this. Come on and put your hands together and sing. Just give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's going to get it. God's gonna get the glory 
out of this. Give him glory, just give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. God's gonna get the glory out of this. Oh, come on, put your hands together and help me give him praise. I surrender all. I want to give someone an opportunity under the sound of my voice to make things right with God. You've got to surrender your life to Jesus. You can't keep running and doing what you want to do. The Bible says there is a way that seems right unto a man, but it ends in death. He loves you. Jesus is calling you this morning. He has his arms wide open to receive you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. In reverence, I want you to bow your head and pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. You died on Calvary Cross for me. They buried you in a borrowed tomb, but on the third day, God raised you from the dead. You are now seated at God's right hand, and soon and very soon, you are coming again. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul, washing me in your blood, and writing my name down in the Lamb's book of life thank you Lord if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart let me and Pastor Amy be the first to say to you welcome into the family of God he loves you with an everlasting love your sins have been forgiven I want you to type below this video right now I've just surrendered my life to Jesus not only that, but we have this salvation booklet that we created. First steps in a new direction. We want you to scan that QR code, download that salvation booklet, and we want you to read it. Make an effort. You already made the first step. Now it's time to take another step. Download that booklet. We teach you that it's important to pray. It's important to read your Bible. It's important to start with the book of John. It's important to stay connected to this ministry. God places in your life for a reason to help disciple you, to help mentor you, to help teach you the Word of God. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Connect with us. We love you. We are excited about this step that you have taken for the Lord. And it's only the beginning. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Also, we want to give the rest of you an opportunity to continue to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do so, visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number. 45888. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas 75070. If you didn't have a chance to subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscribe. If you didn't have a chance to follow us on Facebook, Follow us on Facebook. We want you to connect to us 
on social media so we can continue to bring these morning devotions to you all year long from January all the way to December. Amen. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you and we look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow as we continue this series, Never Give Up. We love you. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.